Hopefully you've seen the roller of this thing rolling down the road, but if you haven't, Tim, insert it now because this bad boy is incredible. Power steps, which are down for some reason, I don't know why, but uh, this truck was built by one of our competitors, Plan B Fab, and uh, you know we don't knock him, he does some cool work. Four link, solid axle conversion, SAS conversion, that's solid axle suspension conversion. Um, face plates, overlays, big old heavy duty cross member, coil over front, coil over back, sky and over top of 40 inch tires. This truck would probably honestly run a 44 with no issue. Uh, 26s, and they are American Forces, 14 wide, black powder coated, black powder coated grill. And the theme of this whole truck is brass knuckles. So I know I've brought you guys one video on it before, but um, don't know what the simulants of that was, but all the face plates are brass knuckle, all the intricate little pieces are brass knuckle from the front to the back, even down to the cross member supports on the axles. Um, really just a cool truck. I mean, for around here, a little large, you probably will get some hassles with the cops, dark tinted windows, the height definitely over the bumper limits for Virginia. If you're in Texas, Florida, Carolina, you can probably rock it. And again, if it was mine, I'd have some 44s bolted on that bad boy. You're talking probably 18 to 20 inches of lift, Fox coilovers, matching steering stabilizers, track bar brackets front and back, sway bars. They didn't cut any corners on this build. So I, we know what this costs to do. We do them all the time. So we know the person that built this truck. And I believe he was out of Carolina. I think I've had a couple people mention. Um, but he did a great job. And the guys building it did a great job. We can't knock it. We've been over it. We adjusted, torqued, tightened. And the other beautiful part is it's not Bluetooth. As everybody knows, we don't do Bluetooth around here. A lot of other shops do. We like this guy because he does not Bluetooth his trucks either, meaning it really has a drive shaft. Kind of a play on words. Everybody talks about a Bluetooth drive shaft, but this one does have an actual functional drive shaft. So no matter where you look, she's blacked out. Secondary colors of the gold. Everything's hammer powder coated down to the hooks. The attention to detail is crazy. Even the back lay of the headlights, projection beams. Uh, got the G2 diff covers. I'm sure the gears have been all upgraded and matched. Uh, interiors basically stock, a little bit of upgraded stereo. Nice, well-loaded interior. Of course, 6.6 Duramax, Allison transmission, and it hits the road fine. I've actually got down on the truck pretty hard. I pulled out in front of some traffic the other day, goosed on it. It got down, got busy. Um, it's actually very strong. I'd have to guess the gears are probably 456 or 488, so it matches with the tires. Um, I believe the truck's probably tuned. Like I said, it gets busy, and it's going to make somebody a great truck. You probably, in today's day and time, could not build the undercarriage components and buy the tires and wheels for what I'm selling this truck for. So you're basically getting a free, very decent mileage, clean Duramax truck for what just suspension tires, wheels, steering, power steps, and would all that stuff done, finished, would cost you. And the beauty is you can buy it today. You don't have to drop it off at our shop, his shop, or another shop, and wait the realistic four to six months that it's gonna take just to get in line and get the truck done. So one cool truck, very overlooked. We normally don't have it out on a lot because everybody wants to climb all over it and step in the wheels. So if you don't see it out and about on the dealership grounds, it's either at my house or it's tucked away in one of our warehouses. But don't sleep on that Duramax. That is one clean, well put together truck. And as you can see, rolling down the road, nothing has a stance like that bad boy.